Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys everything you need to know about the upcoming 2016 Valentine's Day DLC in Grand Theft Auto Online. Okay, so there's been a lot that's happened today with, of course, the update for the two new vehicles that can go into Benny's original motor works to everything that's been found about the Valentine's Day DLC, which is what I'm going to be talking about in this video right now. We know that this update is coming for multiple reasons, and Rockstar even hinted on it on their newswire. At the very end, they stated, stay tuned for details on our upcoming event weekend, which includes a double GTA money and RP playlist, in-game discounts, and more. Plus, keep an eye out on GTA Online next month for some items you're sure to fall in love with. So while that doesn't blatantly say like, hey, Valentine's Day DLC is coming, I can confirm to you guys that a Valentine's Day update is going to be arriving in Grand Theft Auto Online next month in February. All right, so there's a few things we know about the update so far. One of it is the name of the update. Big thanks to Crew Boss for this. The update is actually going to be called the Be My Valentine Update. So the one in 2015, I believe was like the Valentine's Day Massacre special or something like that. This one is going to be the Be My Valentine update. And we also know a bunch of the content that's going to be coming inside. So by far the biggest ticket item of this update is going to be the brand new vehicle that's going to be coming. And it is called the B-Type 3. Now it's called the Roosevelt 2 in the in-game files. But the name, what it's going to appear to us, is going to be the Roosevelt Valor. So in a little bit, I'm going to be showing you guys some pictures and customization options from the Albany Roosevelt Valor so far. And as soon as there is like dedicated video footage to getting that, I will of course show you guys on the channel as well. And there look to be a few differences between the original Albany Roosevelt from 2014 and also from this new one as well, which of course you guys will see in the customization. And we also know the price of the Roosevelt Valor as well. It's going to be $982,000. So you can see the original price of the Albany Roosevelt, $750,000. This one is almost getting a 25% bump at $982,000. So it is a little bit pricey, but nonetheless, this one does look to be a very cool vehicle. Now let's get into the customization. I'm sure that's what you guys want to see. And believe it or not, there is actually some pretty cool customization. I remember the Albany Roosevelt from the original Valentine's Day update didn't have a ton of customization options. However, this one actually has quite a bunch, whether it comes to the side spare wheels that you can change or whether it's the headlight options themselves or whether it's a little bit of the bumpers and the fenders and the grill and the hood. There is a lot you can actually do with this vehicle, which is something that I'm kind of surprised about, but I am really happy about it because that when you're only adding one DLC car in the game, you wanna make sure that it's worthwhile and actually has the ability to be like customized, which of course does make me very excited for this. Now I'll leave links to all the articles I'm using for this in the description. Also, big thanks to my good friend Psycho Gaming for helping me out with some of these screenshots. Once again, as soon as I can get full gameplay video of the customization, I know that'll be a little easier for you guys to see. I will make that video for you on my channel, uh, but for now, we've just got some screenshots that have been floating around the community and some of the in-game customization files. Now, there are some unknowns about the Roosevelt Valor. One of that is, is it going to disappear? Typically, if Rockstar makes you pay for a vehicle, it won't disappear. But the Albany Roosevelt is a vehicle that we had to pay for, and it actually disappeared from the website uh, that you were able to purchase it on once the original Valentine's Day DLC content had gone away. So that doesn't mean it's going to disappear from your garage, your inventory, or being able to drive it, but you might lose the opportunity to purchase it after this specific release timeline. So that's another thing we're gonna have to figure out and I guess we're just gonna have to wait on some more information from Rockstar in order to figure out what the situation is regarding this vehicle. But this is the big ticket item of this update, the Albany Roosevelt Valor. I'm super excited. Uh, but anyways, let's move on to some new content. So sadly, it looks like there's not gonna be any new weapons added with this update. 
Now, that isn't to say that they won't bring back old weapons like the Gusenberg Sweeper. And that actually brings me to my other point. They might bring back the original Albany Roosevelt as well. So if you missed out on that opportunity to purchase it, you might have the opportunity to do that yourself. So there's going to be no new weapons, although they might bring back the Gusenberg Sweeper. What they are going to be bringing new is new clothing for both males and females. So I'm not going to be able to describe all the items that are shown on the screen right now, but I'm just going to go through the entire list of what has been found so far. There's really interesting suits. There's like underwear. There looks to be like lingerie and high heels for the women. Uh, there also seems to be like these fancy uh, flowery dresses and uh, crazy patterns. So there looks to be lots of cool new stuff that's added for males and also for the females. I think they're getting the best part of this update. So if you do have a female character, like I said, there's some pretty risque stuff uh, in terms of like underwear, lingerie, things that Rockstar seem to be adding in this game. But there also looks to be some cool stuff for some guys as well. I know that that like bluish suit looks pretty awesome. So I can't wait to get my hands on that and check it out. And there's just so many random things like there's just white boxer briefs and underwear. So there's lots of cool clothing that you can check out. Again, I'll leave a link to everything in the description if you want to look at it for yourself. Basically, the categories of clothes we're going to be getting for the men, there's shoes, jackets, and pants. For the women, there are accessories, shoes, dresses, and women's lower parts which is what I'm assuming is going to be like the underwear and lingerie. So again, that's pretty cool. There's going to be some new clothing items added with this update. And really, that looks to be it with this update in terms of new content that they're going to be added. There was, again, no new files found for weapons or any masks or any tattoos. But that isn't to say that Rockstar might bring back the masks and other things like the Gusenberg Sweeper from the 2014 Valentine's Day update. So we again, we're really just going to have to see what that's going to be and if Rockstar will end up adding that. Now, really, other than that, the only question I have is whether or not we're going to be able to take the new Albany Roosevelt Valor into Benny's original Motorworks. Now, my gut feeling is telling me, no, we're not going to be able to, uh, but you never know because it's paired with the update that did bring the first two non-lowrider vehicles into Benny's original Motorworks, although it would be kind of weird to see some of the customization and liveries on this car. Again, I highly doubt it, although it would be super cool. And really, other than that, that just leaves us with the release date. Now, I don't really have any information on when this is going to be released. The only thing Rockstar told us is next month. So they basically gave us a timeline of any time in February. However, since Valentine's Day happens on Sunday, February 14th, I would imagine that Rockstar would do it sometime during the week before. So I would say the week of Monday the 8th, any time during that week is a logical time that this DLC could be released. I'm personally shooting for Tuesday, February 9th uh, because it's my birthday. And I think that would be pretty awesome to wake up to an awesome Valentine's Day surprise DLC. So that's what I'm shooting for February 9th. But again, it could be any time in February. Who really knows? Rockstar have only given us that month as kind of a timeline of when it could come out. But anyways, that's all the information I have for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy and hopefully you did learn a thing or two about the upcoming Valentine's Day 2016 DLC content. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.